Hey there guys, we're recording this video after the first one for some reason had weird background noise and no one could really hear what I was trying to say. Um, just going to try and give a brief update on Olympics. Um, I didn't get a video out yesterday, um, busy, whatever, but um, I'll just try and sum up basically just today. Uh, try to sum up too much, it might take a bit too long and confuse me slightly. So. Um, Today we've got we've got Jessica Ennis who's on the brink of winning the heptathlon. She's a, a few hundred points ahead with one event to go tonight, about about quarter to quarter to nine tonight, something like that. Um, she's out, and if she wins that, well, if she's barring her getting injured or barring her getting injured or collapsing or not even being able to take part in the race, she should still have gold for that this evening. Um, so that's very good. She's done a brilliant job of getting as far ahead as she has beating her personal best in three or four of the events so far. She's doing absolutely brilliantly and let's hope she can keep that up and go through for gold tonight. Um, we've had a further two golds in the rowing. Um, the men's cox was four and the women's lightweight double skulls. There's two more golds there for Team Grip, uh, Team GB and um, I think we've appeared in 13 of the 14 rowing finals or something like that, all but one of the finals that there's been mm. in rowing. We've we've had a Great Britain representative and that's just credit to the quality of rowing we have in this country um, that we've done so well and I think we've won more, more medals in the rowing than anyone has ever made and have ever managed in an Olympics before so that's really quite impressive we've done a great job there um, Andy Murray and Laura Robson are through to the mixed double final where they'll play for either silver or gold depending on whether they win or lose um, but the match happens to be on tomorrow on Sunday, the same day that Andy Murray plays in probably his, one of his biggest matches of his career against Roger Federer for an Olympic gold himself. So I don't know how he's going to cope with having two matches in one day. Um, he might cope okay, he might not, but we'll see how that goes. Um, but well done to them for getting through to the final. Um, Laura Robson has been quite a revelation this season for British tennis, so let's hope she can keep up the good work as well. Um, women's team pursuit. Um, broke the world record on the way to beating the USA in the final. Um, they, they raced in three minutes fourteen and fifty one, well, point not five one of a second, um, and they've broke the world record in each of the last six of their last rides. So each time they've got a better record. Um, it's been absolutely brilliant. I don't know how you can how you can manage to br break the world record six times in a row, but that's what they've managed to do. Um, and they stormed a gold. They nearly overtook the USA at the end, which is pretty much unheard of in a in a team pursuit. So that's credit to the again British cycling. We've won an incredible amount of uh, medals in cycling this year. I think um, four of the five gold medals that there have been, Britain have won. So that's yeah, that's absolutely brilliant. Um, well done to them guys. Um, and Britain are now up to third in the medal table with 11 gold, seven silvers, and eight bronzes. Um, catching up to China and the USA, but I don't think we'll ever really get past them. Um, place one and two is usually always sewn up by USA and China. Um, but for Britain to finish third will be pretty much as good as finishing first, so hopefully they can keep that up. A um, few more medals, hopefully, to add to that tonight. We've got Mo Farah out at 10 o'clock, something like that. Um, and Jessica Ennis, obviously, who's on the verge of winning gold herself. So that may be another couple of golds we can add to that tonight and hopefully make a storm for the medal table. Britain are making quite a charge at the minute, so this is good. It's been a bit of a medal rush. Um, and from a non-British perspective, um, I got an invite to go to this this morning, but I'd rather have had my lie in um, and couldn't really afford it anyway. But um, it was a triathlon um, this morning, the women's triathlon. And if, you never, if, you didn't, if any of you didn't watch it, please do, because it was a really, really good event. Um, it was two-hour race um, and it came down to a photo finish after a two-hour race. It was absolutely brilliant. Um, literally milliseconds um, separating the first and second place. So it was absolutely brilliant after a two-hour race. Britain were in it up until about the last kilometre and dropped off and ended up finishing fifth. But well done for finishing fifth. Fifth is quite an achievement. I don't know if I could even finish a triathlon. So um, to finish fifth, quite an achievement and well done. Great Britain there. Um, and that pretty much sums up my Olympic roundup, but just 
on another note, um, I've been playing a lot of Dead Rising 2 recently, um, that's possibly why I didn't get my video out yesterday that I should have done. Um, absolutely loving it. I was playing co-op with my cousin yesterday. Um, absolutely brilliant. The storyline is great. The, <laughs> the gameplay is great. Everything about it is really good. Um, only thing that slightly annoys me is the time where you've got, to, you've got certain time limits to get missions finished and uh, and whatever, but I'm quite... Um, I mean, that happens in a Dead Rising game. Um, you've got time to... You've really got to get certain things done in certain times. Um, but really enjoying it. Love trying to save people, <laughs> slash doing missions and whatever else. And the co-op really adds to it quite quite a lot. Um, so I'm able to play with my cousin and me, which is great. Um, absolutely loving it. And I recommend if any of you out there haven't mm -hmm. played it, haven't got it, please do. Um, it's brilliant. I'd recommend it to anyone. And if you get it, um, give me a shout and I'll be happy to jump on and play co-op with some of you. So looking forward to that. Um, and that should do for now. I might bring out another video a bit later once Jessica and Mr. Mo Farah finish tonight. Um, let you guys know what's going on there. But if well, but until then, um, I'll be back either then or tomorrow. So as always, take it easy, guys.